name is Rina and I'm a student just like you. You're probably wondering who we are and what we do. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our fun activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us today. I am so excited you're here. Now, let's get your brain going. Today, we will be learning about inflectional endings. I'm going to start off by asking you what an inflectional ending is. Do you know? An inflectional ending is a group of letters added to the end of a word to change its meaning. Inflected endings each have a role when they are added onto a word. Our first ending is S. S is used to make a word plural. Do we know what plural means? Plural means multiple or more than one. The next ending is ing. Ing is added to a word to say something is currently happening. That means it is present or happening now. The last ending is ed. Ed is added to a word to make it past tense. That means it's already happened. The ending ed may make one of three ending sounds. Like in the word hug, if we add ed, it says hugged. If we use the word hop and add ed to the end, it sounds like a T, hocked. Lastly, if, you, if we use the word skate and add ed, it sounds like skated. Let's hear all three words. Hugged, hopped, skated. Do we hear the difference in the ending of all three words? Great, let's get started with our activity. First word is cook. What ending do we need to add if we want to make cook present tense? Let me hear those answers, friends. We add ing. Adding ing is making it present tense. So now we have cooking. Now, what if I ask you to make it plural? What ending would we need now? S is right, friends cooks. Now we have cook in plural form. Let's try another word. Our next word is run. What if I want to say I went on many runs? We would use the ending s, runs. Great job friends, we're on to our next word. So what if we wanted to make talk into present tense? What ending would we be using to make it present tense? Meaning happening in the moment, happening now. We would use the ending ing, talking. I am talking to you right now. We see how that's present tense. Now, what if we want to make it past tense? Which ending will we need? ED. We'll be using ED to make it past tense. The word would be talked. I talked to my teacher after school. That means it happens before, past tense. Now our next word is spill. Now how will we put spill in plural form? meaning more than one. We would add the S. That's right. So now we would have, there are multiple spills. That means we have more than one spill, right? Now, what if we want to see spill in present tense? That would mean happening now. Which ending will we be using? ED or ING? ING is right, friends. So now we have spilling. The dog is spilling his food. Great job, friends. Now let's practice using these words in sentences. Our first word we'll use as an example. Walk will be our example word. Let's use the word walk in all three endings. For present tense, our sentence could be, I am walking to the park. 
Do we see how the ending ing makes it present walking? If we just left the word walk, I am walk to the park, that doesn't make sense, right? Now let's put walk in plural form. Max takes his dog on walks. So with the ending of S, we know Max takes his dog on more than one walk. Now lastly, let's use it in past tense. I walked to school. We now know it had already happened by having the ending ED. Now friends, let's move on to the next word. You will need to choose which ending is needed for the sentence. Our sentence is gonna be, I cooked steak last night. Does that make sense, friends? No, it doesn't flow. Which ending will we be using to add to cook to make the sentence sound good? Let me hear those answers. What do you think, friends? We're adding ED. I cooked steak last night. Our hint here was last night. That's past tense. So our sentence is, I cooked steak last night. Great job, friends. Let's use the word run as our next example. I go on run every morning. Now we know that sentence doesn't sound very good, right? So let's fix it. Which ending will we need if we're talking about more than one? Let me hear your answers, friends. Let me hear, let me hear. We need S. Right, friends? Great job. So now our sentence is, I go on runs every morning. Our next word is going to be talk. Our sentence is, I was talk with my mom. So let's try to fix it. Which ending will we need if we're talking about present tense? We need to add the I-N-G. I was talking with my mom. See, now we know that you were talking with your mom right now in this moment, adding the I-N-G. Let's focus on the word spill. Our sentence is, the dog spilled its water this morning. Now tell me friends, what ending will we be using to make it past tense, since we know it happened this morning? Let me hear your answers friends, let me hear, let me hear. We're gonna put ED. So our ending is ED. The dog spilled its water this morning. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and learning with us today. Please feel free to comment and subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you soon.